Okay, today we're going to make two different kinds of chicken pies. We're going to make classic chicken pie, and we're also going to make my Aunt June's creamy chicken pie. So I did not have to work today, but I had to be at the club at 7.30 for tennis. So what I did is I got up this morning, and I put a whole cut up chicken in my crock pot, and I covered it with water, salt, and pepper. That's all. Turned it on high because I knew I would be home around 1 o'clock, but if you're working, you can turn it on low and let it cook all day, and when you get home, you will have your perfectly cooked chicken. So now I'm going to take the chicken out of the crock pot, and I'm going to take it all off the bone, and I'm going to throw away any skin, um, and then I'm going to turn the video back on, and we will put together two different types of chicken pie. Okay, so I want to show you how easy it is to get the chicken off the bone. So I'm going to turn the camera so you can see the chicken down in the crock pot. And when you go to lift it out, sometimes it will fall apart right as, right as you pull it out of the crock pot. So sometimes it's, it's pieces. Here's the chicken. Um, Sometimes when you go to pull it out of the crock pot, it just kind of falls apart. So just put it over into another bowl. And then you just want to let it cool a little bit. But you want to pull off most of the skin. And we'll discard that. We don't need all that extra fat. Um, any bones, they just kind of, see how the meat just kind of falls right off the bone? And just continue to pull the meat See how hot and steamy it is? Uh, you can use tongs. Just pull the meat up and then place that in your food processor. So I'm going to do that with all of this chicken and then we'll get back to our recipe. Okay, I've taken all the meat <clears throat> off the bone and here's what I have. Here's some of the bones and fat. Just make sure that you get all these little pieces of cartilage out and especially this tiny little bone that comes with the leg and thigh quarter. You want to make sure you get that out. And of course your bigger bones and your breastbone and everything. If you don't have a whole bird, you can make this with um, boneless pieces of chicken. But you really need to put at least two legs in your crock pot. Two pieces of chicken that have the bone in it at least. Because there's just you don't get that same flavor if you don't have the bone marrow seeping out into your broth. You also want to strain your broth. And so I'll just get this big strainer and just keep scooping and scooping and you'll get little pieces of fat and tiny pieces of meat. But that's just to get your broth ready because we're going to use that broth in our creamy chicken pie. So what I have done is I've put the chicken in my food processor and I'm just going to process that until it's in a ground consistency. If you have a food uh, meat grinder, that's really good to run your chicken through. It makes it into little tiny ground up balls, kind of like ground beef, but it's ground chicken. And that works really well for both of these recipes. I can't find my meat grinder, so I'm gonna use my food processor. And I'm gonna get that pulverized real quick. And then I'll show you what that looks like and we'll put together our pies. So we have taken our chicken, put it in the food processor, and this is kind of what it looks like. It's not like a shredded consistency. And we're going to be making two different types of pies. So for the classic chicken pie, I would normally make a pie crust, bottom and top. But since I've been kind of busy today, I wanted to show you all a trick too. You can buy the frozen pie crust. They come two in a package. And use the bottom crust for the bottom of your pie. And if you're making this recipe all for the classic, you would need two bottoms and two tops. But if you're just making one, you can take these pie crusts, let them defrost, and just kind of roll the edges back. And then look, you can lift it up, and we'll use this as our top crust. So I'm just going to sit that one there. The first thing you want to do when you buy these uh, pie crusts, or even if you make your own, is you want to take a fork and you want to make uh, pricks in the bottom. <clears throat> of the pie crust and that's just so that when it's baking it doesn't bubble up so you just take your fork and just kind of give it some pokes around the bottom of the pie crust then we're going to take our chicken and since I'm making two different types of uh, pies I'm just going to divide it but we're going to fill our pie crust with 
our chicken. So just put your chicken in the pie crust. Make sure that it's all the way around, nice and full. You don't want to be skimpy here. You want it to be a nice full pie because this is all that's going in this pie. It is chicken and pie crust. That is it. All right, so you have it nice and full. Then you want to take some of the chicken broth out of your crock pot, which I still have here. So I'm going to give it a stir because as it sits, sometimes the fat gels a little bit. And you're just going to pour it over the chicken. until you have all the chicken moist. There, about, I'd say, close to three-fourths of a cup. And then you'll put your other pie crust on top and pinch the edges. So, let me move this back. I don't know if I can get... There we go, now you can kind of see where I'm working here. So this is the pie, the chicken in the crust, and we've already put the broth on it. So now I'm going to take the other crust and I'm just going to simply roll it out of the pie pan and then lay it on top of the chicken and pie. And your family will think that you slaved all day over this great crust. And I mean, you kind of did. You had to roll the edges. And then you just kind of pinch the ends together all the way around. And if you're making your own pie crust, you know how to do this. You just kind of sealing it up. Okay. And then you can take your fork and make some holes on the top of it so that the steam will escape because it does have liquid in it and as it cooks that's going to bubble up and you want it to be able to escape. So that is your classic chicken pie. I'm going to set that one aside and you would just bake that at 350 until it gets brown on top because the chicken's already cooked. You're just cooking the dough. And then for my Aunt June's creamy chicken pie, if you're making this recipe and you're using a whole bird, uh, you would like a 9 by 13 casserole dish. But um, since I'm not using all of the chicken, I've got a little bit of a smaller bowl here. But what we're going to do <clears throat> is we're going to place the meat in our casserole dish. And just make it even in the bottom so it's just chicken in the dish and then we're going to mix together the broth that's going to go on top and it says in our recipe here uh, bring the broth and a can of cream of chicken soup to a boil so let me move some stuff out of the way and we will get a Pan of so we have one pan of cream of chicken soup. And then to that one can, we're going to add two cups of our broth from the crock pot. Now, if you don't have a crock pot, you can uh, stew the chicken just on the stove or you can also use a pressure cooker and cook it really quickly if you have a pressure cooker and you know how to use it. Don't use a pressure cooker if you've never been taught how to use it because they can be dangerous. Okay, so we have one can cream of mushroom soup, or cream of chicken soup, sorry. You could probably use cream of mushroom if you wanted to. And then we're going to add two cups of our broth. So I'm going to bring this up here. That's about a half a cup. That's one cup. One and a fourth. One and a half. Of 
Now you will have broth left over. You can save that. You can freeze it if you want. Use it in another recipe. Or you can just dump it down the sink. And then this has to come to a boil. So we're going to put that on high and let that come together because you want the soup to dissolve. And while that's coming to a boil, we're going to go ahead and make the crust. So for the crust, our recipe says to combine one cup of self-rising flour. Oh, I don't want to use this bowl. That's dirty. I clean bowl. So self-rising flour, one cup. And to that, we're going to add salt, pepper, buttermilk, and butter. And this doesn't have to be precise. You can just kind of, we're not baking here, so not really. That's a third, two thirds, one. One cup self-rising flour. And then buttermilk is one cup. One third, two thirds, Oop, one cup. And then we're also going to, it says to add eight tablespoons of butter melted. So what I'm going to do, I have a microwave safe bowl. I'm going to get this butter melted and add that to our flour and buttermilk, and then we're going to add a teaspoon of salt, a half a teaspoon of pepper, and you can always add more pepper if you like pepper. That's about a half, and I'm going to put some right here. Okay. And then we'll melt our butter, mix this all together, and once our soup and broth is combined, we're going to pour that over the chicken and then put the batter on. So we'll do that as soon as this is put together. Okay, so we have our butter melted. <clears throat> I'm going to add that to the flour, buttermilk, salt, and pepper. And we're going to mix that up. And I'm going to kind of tilt it so you can see what it looks like. So it's going to be a pourable, a pourable batter. It's not going to be super thick. And just get it so that all the butter is stirred in. Like that. Let's see how it's, can you see how it's pourable? Okay, our soup is combined with our broth, and we've stirred it just to get the lumps out. And we're just going to take that and pour it over the chicken. And then I just kind of spread it around with a spatula, make sure that it's from corner to corner. Now, if you wanted to make these uh, pies ahead of time, the classic chicken pie, as soon as you get the dough covered on it, you could freeze it like this and then bake it later, or you could bake it and freeze it, but uh, it'd probably be best if you froze it unbaked. They both bake for about 30 minutes. The creamy chicken pie, my Aunt June's creamy chicken pie, you could get to this stage and you could cover it with foil and stick it in your fridge, and then you could make the batter um, just 30 minutes before you wanted to have it. Because all we're going to do now is pour this batter on top and we're going to bake it in a 425 degree oven for 30 to 35 minutes until the dough looks cooked. So as you can see, I'm just pouring this right out onto the chicken with the soup on it. Soup and broth. You just want to kind of cover, give it a nice covering and then spoons aren't always the best to get batter out of a bowl so we're going to use our spatula 
and just kind of get it all that goodness out of our bowl. Now you could also make this a chicken pot pie if you wanted to. You just need to add whatever vegetables you like. If you like veg all, or maybe you just like peas and carrots, um, you could put that in this certainly and then put your crust on top and you would have a creamy chicken pot pie. I don't really like chicken pot pie. I would rather have just the classic chicken pie or my Aunt June's creamy chicken pie. So you really have three different options here and they're, they're all super easy. They just take a little bit of planning of getting your chicken in the crock pot and getting it uh, started before you go to work. But it's something that you can easily do even if you're a working mom and the kids are going to love it. So I hope that you enjoy it, your classic chicken pie and my Aunt June's creamy chicken pie.